So my name is Fergal Maguire and I'm an advisor on the Dairy B500 programme. So today we're going to look at the supplementation of weanlands during the winter time. The winter is an area where low levels of performance are, are witnessed on farms nationally and this is no different on dairy calf to beef farms. Too often in these systems we see weanlands achieving low levels of performance during the winter months. When dairy calf weanlands fail to perform over this period, unnecessary costs and poor performance during the finishing stage will occur. This may lead to either longer finishing periods or the production of lighter carcasses, both of which will have negative impacts on the potential profitability of the system. In calf to beef systems, we're aiming to achieve a moderate level of performance over the winter period. The reason behind achieving an average daily gain of 0.6 kilos stems from research conducted by Chagas Grange, which shows that this is the optimum level of performance in, a, in order to ensure that compensatory growth is achieved during the following spring. The first step to ensure this level of performance is achieved is to have a silage analysis completed. Once completed, concentrate uh, levels can be balanced to make up for any deficit in, in energy or protein that is in the available forage. For a typical 100 day winter, the difference in meal feeding levels required for weaning on excellent quality silage versus poor quality silage could be in the region of 200 kilos ahead. So the production of excellent quality silage should be a yearly priority on farmers engaged in calf to beef production. So once silage testing has been completed and the necessary levels of meal feeding have been identified, the next step is the selection of a suitable concentrate. Ideally a ration should have high quality ingredients, have an energy content of above 0.94 UFL per kilo of dry matter fed, have a protein content between 14 and 16%, be palatable and be fortified with minerals and vitamins.